Needy. Needy. Oh, for goodness sake. Needy! Wake up! Needy! It's Rachel! Welcome to the show. Yes, there is. As you can see tonight, my boobs are mostly sponsored by Family Fun Filmmaking, Alejandro Perez. What a nice chap. Icy and snowing and kind of slushy because of rain. Alejandro, Alejandro. What a nice guy. Yes, on a more serious note, if, uh, where the damn, where the hell's the damn focus point? There she blows. If anybody would like to send me a t-shirt or something to uh, show off their channel, by all means, chaps, hit me up on Twitter. It's right here. Whoosh. In at number five. Okay, in at number five, we have Alex. Mitar, Mitar, Mitar. Why do you all have surnames I can't pronounce on this bloody show? With a nice little film called Lee on Sea. I like it. I like it already. Alex is what I would like to call a high-quality filmmaker. His work is very, very visually enthralling. Mm, enthralling. His use of music in the edit is simply brilliant. And the fact of the matter is, have you seen this film? Dude's editing to high-speed music. He is on his stuff. Stuff. Also, the thing I like about this video is, as much as it's just a, uh, a snapshot of uh, Leon C. Leon C. Leon C. I find myself wanting to know about this place and all its little seagulls and stuff. Alex has a passion for all that is happening around him. He takes it in, he views it, he pulls it in, and he makes a marvellous film out of it. Top banana. Well done, Alex. You're in at five. Oh, yeah, Team Rossin. That is a very good pick you got there. Um. I'm running out of beer. I'm running out of beer quickly. Somebody sponsor me with more beer. Please. Pretty please. I like beer. And in at number four, we have the other lovely Susan's Creative. Oh, that's a jingle for you right there, Susan. Susan's creative. So this video... Yes, this video officially makes me conclude that Susan is... Batty as a fruitcake, basically. Love her. Absolutely crazy. Well, hello there. I'm Bob Ross. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm so happy you could join us today. Her creativity, not just in crafts, also in film, knows no bounds. No bounds. Also, to be fair, it's freaking hilarious, do you know what I mean? She stood there wearing a massive wig and beard. Oh, can't get enough of that, it's just mad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my brush before I use the next color. Just give it a good whack. And when you think it's clean, go ahead and give it another good whack. I could just be here all day. Also, now, Susan, yes, you, I want a Bob Ross beard and wig. The only thing I, and I'm going to say that I don't like it for once, oh, I know. The only thing I didn't like was that Susan used a Niffler painting. A Niffler painting that she did a show with me on. 
Okay? And there you have it. My happy little accident. I painted a Niffler. And also hers was better than mine, damn it. Um, but yeah, I would have loved to have seen a new painting from you, Susan, that, that would have been mint. Especially like a Bob Ross style... thing. And what I like best about Susan is she always brings something new to the plate or teaches us something new or teaches about a new weaponry tool or device in our crafts and arts. Either that or she wears a completely mad costume, which I love anyway, and she's always up for a chat, so I like her. She's a top banana. Painting can be so relaxing. I encourage you to start yourself. Go ahead. Just turn off that TV or the, or the internet. Pull out your paints and get inspired. You might even try going outside every now and then. It's full of nature. So I hear. Of course, I haven't been outside since 1984, but that's okay. I'm still happy. Also, my favorite part of this video was the cat. Of course, it was the cat. He's such a happy little cat. I just know he's gonna enjoy painting with us today. And I think he's gonna make a happy little accident out of my hair today. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm so glad you could join us. <laughs> Bob? Bob, was that you? They told me that you died, man. They told me you were dead. I'm so glad you're not dead. And at number three, we have my friend and yours, the Toast Lady. Oh yeah, Sarah Hobbs. Toast Lady, I like to call her Toast Lady. So Toast Lady Sarah is a highly, highly creative Kiwi from New Zealand. She has an awesome sense of humour and the levels of sarcasm. Oh, God darling. Bach. 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 Sarah is another one that brings us something different in each video. She's done stop frame animation, she's done mass trauma from vlogging. So in this recent video, she tries to get everybody to do a New Zealand accent. Apparently there's about 130 or 40 different versions of the English accent, and my one being the Kiwi accent. So I gathered together some friends to see how easy it is to actually teach the Kiwi accent and a few of the words that we use. So Sarah actually invited me to be a part of this video, but I'm afraid I was uh, stupidly, stupidly busy. And I'm really sorry about that, Sarah, because as I watch this video, I regret making that choice now because that video is freaking so funny and awesome. It would have been great fun. Wakatane. Wakatane. Wakachan. Wakantan. Wakatane. Also, I really like this idea. It's great fun to bring the community together more and uh, just make fun of each other and have a giggle. And I think it brings the world together a little, a little bit more. So, good on you, Sarah. And I must say, it was hilarious to edit. <laughs> what I'd like to see from the Toast Lady is more films more often. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Yes. In at number two, we have free people. Oh my god. That's right. I can put free people in one position. Let me rephrase that. I can put free people in uh, slot number two on the show. Do you know why? Because it's my show. <laughs> In second place, this week, we have Joshua Hubbard, Audrey Ember, and uh, Ashley Murphy. Oh yeah. Now, all these guys, I've put them in second place because they all made a film about getting more female creators on YouTube. We need more women creators. Hey. Why are not many girls watching this type of content? Where are the female creators? Which personally, I think is freaking awesome because it's quite lonely actually, I must admit. So there's lots of women out there, it's just we all need to connect. We need more guys like this <laughs> no, doing, no, 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 like no. shouting, but talking about this because the, like, the community is mostly guys, so you know, it's really important for guys as well to speak up about this stuff. 
you. Yeah, this video is why I didn't do it daily, because I felt this was more important. Excuses. No, I literally, <laughs> it was an excuse. I'm sorry, but this is why I didn't do daily, because this is more important. And in each individual film, they all take their own spin on it and show their own creativity, as well as showcasing a whole bunch of women that pick up a camera and do it absolutely damn well. Let's get this, girls. I'm cheering loud for each one of you. Don't back down. Keep creating. Keep shining your light of influence. You matter. The more people that do that, the more female creators we go, come, come into our world of creation. I think all free films put great advice out there as to uh, why not? Why not have more female creators? Why not get them under the spotlight? Why not get them as big as the guys? Let's do it. Now, I don't have the answer to this question. I don't think anybody does, to be honest. However, one thing I do know is that role models play a huge role when shaping somebody's path of inspiring them and igniting that passion in someone. This video really is not about the uh, sex. It's the lack thereof. The lack of realizing we are here. Females, we are here. Help us get the word out. We are here. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, I I have a lot of important opinions about uh, female creators, and I think that uh, people have been waiting to hear me expound upon some of my... And in at number one, receiving a full spin, don't forget. Ooh. We have... Are you ready? Are you really ready? Alex... Guess away. Okay, the first words that I think of when I watch this woman's vlogs is Stylee. Oh my neck. I hope everyone gets a chance to spend a year doing what they love every single day. Just give it a year. Let's see what happens. Really stylish. Really nice. Mmm, crisp, clear vlogs. I think that you can clearly see that uh, Alex is a. Uh, quite an ambitious vlogger. I think she is on her stuff. I think uh, she's a woman who has big, big plans for the future, to be honest with you. And I think she's probably gonna nail them all. I'm giving myself one year to build a company I've thought about for three. And I'm documenting the whole journey. Just, if you scroll down her channel, it just looks so crisp and clean. That's what I like about it. It's very sort of professional. We're connecting change makers to companies dedicated to not just doing some good, but actually being good. Unlike me, that sits here and goes... I like it how she shows real things, real dilemmas, real issues, and how she deals with them. All the stuff that's affecting her, and uh, she's open about sharing this stuff, you know? It's real life going down there, man. Going down! Because, let's face it, we gotta eat, and... By cameras. I'm Alex Gatsaway. I also think the quality of her edits make her stand out as a creator. Ambition is a social enterprise. A tech and media company driven by social good. Personally, I think from watching a good few of Alex's vlogs now, I think uh, she is highly undersubscribed and I think she deserves to go huge. I'm gonna put a stake out there and I'm gonna call it now. I think Alex has got some sort of little secret seed growing and it's going to blossom into a massive tree. And it'll be cool and awesome. So keep kicking ass, Alex. Absolutely love it, buddy. Rock on. Wow. Now that seemed like a very happening party. How do you even get invited to something like that?